I get. Okay, yeah. I love I love what you're saying. Explain the importance of a manager and what makes a good manager, a manager in your in your is view. It's very important. And a manager basically acts as a buffer for the artist. It's all well and good as an artist. You you would want to be in the room negotiating and everything, but a manager has more negotiating negotiating power over you. Mm. Because then they're representing you there. They're your advocate. And it's easier for the client to listen to somebody who's representing you as an advocate as opposed to yourself. Because of course, it will even come out as feeling good, bragging mm, and mm, all that. Mm. Yeah. The other thing is as an artist, you have so much you're dealing with. You know, sometimes you'll be literally in between gigs. Mm. You know, you've taken off to Uganda. You've gotten there. Hizo days roaming high kwa vile kwa siku hizi. Ukifika Uganda lazima uingishe sasa SIM card ya Uganda. Mm. You know, you can't be found on your phone. Some dude is worried that you won't show up for the Sunday gig. <laughs> Who are they going to get in touch with? You see, it's those yeah. sort of things. You need just someone to manage what you're doing. If possible, if you blow blow blow, you know, like we mm. say in Nigeria, blow like trumpet. If you blow, <laughs> have a road manager and now have a manager who handles your artist, your persona as a brand. That's if you've got into that level. Okay, yeah. what was the strain now for you? What becomes now the tipping point? Uh, first of all, I, I, I don't want to fast forward in case there's yeah. there's any other stories, <laughs> but I'm trying to figure out the tipping point between. Okay, enough is enough. I'm going gospel. Yeah. Yeah. Is that next? Is that where we go next? I think from then on, after the Airtel deal, mm. Francis is like second album now, and I'm like, okay, and I was like, can I get a break? Because I've been working like. Back, back to back, back to back, working, 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 working. After finding my sound, album after album, VCD after VCD, touring after touring, mm. uh, Airtel comes again, touring and everything. I'm like, can I get a break? Can I get like a three month break? Can I just breathe? And he was like, fine, but you have a, you have, you have a second album to think about and finish. And I'm like, wow. And I'm like, we're going back. We're going back to that place again. So now it's. Where are you going with your second album? Mm. What's your sound? What's your sound? And I'm like, ah, <laughs> <laughs> we're not back here again, are we? Ah, <sighs> I'm like, what? And both of them were like, it's gonna be easy. I'm like, it's not easier. It's not. It's hard. Why is it harder? Because I, I really wanted to get to that place faster. Mm. For them, I wasn't quite there. I was supposed to have gotten to the level of Yvonne Chaka Chaka mm. and beyond. And they're like, second album, we need to do this. This is the one that's going to deliver. Now think about songs that establish you as an artist. Show your artistry. Do this, do that. And I'm like, can I get a break? I need to think about this. This is now too much. And you see, on the other hand, I didn't have time like before. Mm. Before I had time. Because, mm. mm. you know. Yep. Squad me blow. You got a time. Now, in between the gigging, in between the noise, I'm supposed to sort of come down, do the second album and figure out what my excuse me, my sound is going forward and how I was going to maintain this and I just needed time. Mm. And it just got more intense. When you think you're getting a break is when and then the last thing I know intense and more intense. <laughs> this is crazy. And I'm like, whew, I need to breathe, I need to breathe, I need to breathe. Mm. And I kept saying that, like, I, I, I need time, I need time, I need time. And I think it got to a point, Francis was getting frustrated. Lucas, of course, got frustrated a long time ago. Him, he was done and dusted. Mm. As in, like, mm. is he doing album? No. Uh -huh. And what, you know, there was a lot going on at that point in time. Mm. Um, they felt as a record label, they need to streamline certain things. Of course, as an artist, you know, there were, few, there were issues going on. Mm. And um, me as an artist now saying, okay, second album. Were you happy with the finances? I, I was happy with the finances. Okay. Finances, I know, is always a huge one with artists. <laughs> so I just wanted to clear this also out because mm. sometimes I've, the rumor may be that. Mm. So with you, you are okay from a financial perspective. For a, from a financial Ogopa, perspective, Ogopa, you cut everything that's happening. At that point in time, I mean, we we had our issues. Okay, we had our issues. Oh, you didn't do this. You didn't do that. You know, there there were issues. Mm -hmm. But in terms of were we gonna work on a second album? For sure. Yes, for okay. sure. 
Okay. But of course, when you're working with people and we've been working together for over then for like close to 10, 15 years, mm. of course there are issues. Okay, yeah. Yeah. I hear that. But there are not issues that, that would stop. It's like any relationship. Yes. Has issues. But you guys found a way to build a bridge and get over it. Yes. Am I right? I don't put words in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, we were working towards the focus was the second album and everything. Okay. And that was now you need to get our second album out. You need to get to where we had planned for you to get to. Okay. Because so, they had a plan. I get it. So, yeah. So now we're working towards the album and everything. I am in this space where there's so much going on. I had not taken time to, to sort of absorb a lot of things that had been going on in my life. I had not mm. taken time to even like realize a lot of things that were going on around me. Were you in a, were you in a relationship at this time? <laughs> Let's not talk about relationships. <laughs> okay, no problem. <laughs> no, 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 we don't have to. Let's move on. I mean, relationships wise, uh, huh, I don't know. It was what it was. Okay. You know, I was just... But was I thinking seriously? I never really thought about a serious relationship until I got to about 33. Mm. I was working. Okay. So at 33 is when I stopped and I was like, oh, my friends are married. I'm not married. And I'm like, I don't even have prospects. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, okay. Um, hmm, I guess that is something we need to think about. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, until I got to 33, that's the time I was there, like, okay, fine. I need to get into a relationship that's leading to marriage. Before then... Gig. <laughs> okay, I get it. I like you. You're nice, but I got a gig. <laughs> do you like gigs? No. You don't? Do, do you like girls who go on stage and wear short skirts? I'll dance with your friend. Did you like that? So mm-hmm. I I was not trying. You know, when you're about to get married as a girl, you present yourself as a yeah, good yeah. girl. Mm. No, it's not. I was like, basically, you are the bad girl. I will show you <laughs> yeah. the reasons why you should not I'll get married. <laughs> Because I was just, I think that was my way of shielding myself from okay. dealing with that. It mm. wasn't until I was 33 and I was like, hold up. Why 33? I don't know. Oh, okay. At 33 is when I stopped to think. Mm. Before then, I was just working. Work, 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 work. And when I stopped to think, I started taking breaks. I take breaks. I'm like, okay, fine. My savings are going down. Let me get back to work. And that just now became the routine. Mm. You know, I'm like, oh, oh my savings are going up. Let me, let me take another break. Let me, let me work again. Let me take another break. Oh, your album is coming. And there's all this happening. Of course, I felt some type of way. I'm like, okay, fine. I'm not even married. You know, who would even want to marry me? Ah, oh, forget that. You know, so I kept pushing that at the back because I'm like, who would want to marry me? Mm. <laughs> no. And I started understanding why, you know, most female artists had issues with relationships and everything. Mm. And... You know, being all happy-go-lucky, I tried dating here and there without realizing that there were so many stories about me going out there mm. that by the time I was going for a coffee date, that dude is intriguing himself. Mm. He's not even serious. He's like, but he's oh, been that is so crazy. everything under the sun. And I never realized it until I met my now husband. Oh man, Paulie. That so is insane. I so, didn't realize that there were so many stories of me out there until I met him. And he said, oh, I was told you did this. And I'm like, why did you even stay? As in, why did you even continue talking to me? Because he was like, I was told you did this. And I'm like, I have evidence. Here's the email. I have evidence. Look at this. And I was yeah. like, may I have receipts? That's crazy. So the old stories, of course, there was a famous picture going around. So any dude who maybe even had been out of the country. What and picture? I, there was a scandalous picture of me that came out. Mm. And this was before the MTV Awards. I did a gig in Uganda. Mm. And, um, well. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of happened? Things happen. <clears throat> now that I'm born again, I'll say. Um, I have never done well with alcohol. Mm. And I was in UG, and UG, they, you know, they like to make their artists feel comfortable. Mm. And I was asked, what do you like taking? And I was like, oh, I like Amarula or Baileys. So they made me comfortable, made sure that my room always had some Amarula or Baileys. And for lack of better judgment, you know, that particular day I had a gig, I started indulging at 1 p.m. Mm. 
Meanwhile, I had a gig. And uh, yeah. By 7 p.m., yeah. You had fried. <laughs> <laughs> It's not a laughing matter. Mm, oh yeah, yeah. Medium <laughs> rare. But uh, whew, whatever the media had been searching for for years, they I presented it. it to them. Nice. Yeah. So <laughs> you made mean, a mistake. Yeah. And I that made, mistake was publicly put out there. Yes, I made a mistake and I was judged forever for that mistake. Yo. Prior to that, I really had never had any mistake or scandal to that level. None. Mm. And I should have, I take responsibility because I should have been more wiser. I shouldn't have started drinking at 1 p.m. knowing that I have a gig later on at 7 p.m. Because, you know, you're not supposed to do that. And I always used to try my level best. Actually, I used to perform most of the time sober. Mm. But yeah. Okay, I get it. And they took it and they ran with it. And those who were not a money fans ran with it. And even till today, they ran with it. I'm sure there's somebody who condemns me as a born again Christian due to that picture, but thank God Christ does not remember. I get it. Yeah. I love it. Ah oh, man, it must be so hard. In fact, I'm not even seeing this as a first as a female artist, but when you're on the top, everybody who wants your spot, yeah. like they'll do anything. They'll do anything. So I hadn't stopped to realize the stories. I hadn't stopped to realize the hatred, the jealousy. I hadn't That's until crazy. much later on. And I'm like, hold up and i think i probably reacted a lot to some of the situations because then when i started taking breaks is when i actually stopped and i was like why did they say that why why did they do that you know mm. because before then i had i, I had no time mm. i absolutely had no time to now to why did they say that why did they do that hey, you're a strong one and then now much later is when until i met my now husband he said I heard you do this. And the most ridiculous story he told me was, um, he told me that I was told that you were a drug addict mm. and you recovered. And I'm like, what? And he was like, that's why your eyes are the way they are. And I was offended. And I was like, listen, I grew up with allergies. Mm. I've had allergies all my life. Mm. And when I have an allergic reaction, my eyes go red. But then... It's like even when I was telling you here, have some, yeah. have some thingy, you're like, no, no, I've got sinuses. Yes. So for that one, uh, that one really offended me that I was mm. into hard drugs and that's how my eyes ended up the way they are. That's I like hard drugs. I've never seen some of these things. <laughs> I don't even know how they look like. Mm. And I think my husband, on the other hand, is also a very strong person because he, when he was given that information, he was like, okay. And... Um, his dad is a is a professor of pharmacy mm. and you know he decided i'm gonna find out how does a person who's been doing hard drugs look like whoa hey so there's I a lot that came to him so he was so he looked at me and he was like this girl is not doing hard drugs it's a lie and how can you decide it's only the eyes you know if i've been injecting things where where are the marks where are they you know I have sinuses. I've been pulling up things my nose. Why am I not nose bleeding? Mm. You know, there's there's a lot, you know, but of course those things were told to him to deter him from talking to me, mm. to befriending me. And he's the one, unfortunately, of all the guys I met, he's the only one who told me. Told me I was told you were a drug addict. I was told you did this. I was told you did that. I was told all oh, the person who gave you the one eight deal. You guys were, yes, things were that together, happened. Mm. you know, and everything. And I'm like, really? This is the lady who calls me for 1-8. This is our communication from day one. I had receipts. So I think with time, he realized that there was a lot of things that had been said about me that were probably not true. So every time someone came to him with information, he came and asked me what happened in this incident. We had us produced receipts. Yo, that must have been so... Hold on, I want us to change the battery. We continue this conversation immediately after this.